Woo woo. Hey everybody. How's everybody doing today? Today is Thursday. That means I'm coming in for my weekly check in for God, my teeth look yellow. My face look yellow. These lights are horrible. I backwash. Horrible video today. But however, I'm coming in with my weekly checkup. I had vet vertical sleeve gastrectomy back in 2015, July of 2015. It will be almost a year this July. Uh, I started at 220. I am down to 140. I have lost 80 pounds. No difference from last week. I have been at a stall for two months now and it seems like my body has completely slowed down and um, decides it wants to stop losing weight. Now I feel good at this weight. I'm okay with it. I still want to lose that five pounds just to get to, to the goal that I had set in the first place, which I'm okay with. I just want to show you this real quick. This stuff is so good, and it's not the hard cardboard chewy stuff. I mean, I'm talking, this stuff is so soft. Mm, mm. I shouldn't be eating on camera right now, but OMG. It, it's good stuff. I'm so sorry, and I'm not editing, editing this. Okay, so I'll talk with my mouth covered if you can hear me. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, so, um, comment down below and let me know. Question is, I'm trying to chew fast. It's a very soft chew, so I won't be chewing on it forever. Oh, crap, I swallowed a big piece. I hope that doesn't hurt my stomach. Uh-oh, here comes a cat. Again, he loves my beef jerky. Okay, I get that beef jerky at Walmart. Okay, so the question is, I'm all over the place today. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. Figaro. That's nice. You like the beef jerky, but get. Okay. Again, uh, question is, when people ask how you lost weight, do you tell them? My answer is yes. I do tell anybody and everybody. But here's the thing that I notice. I think everybody's looking for that secret way of losing weight easy. And there is no easy way to lose weight. Everything takes hard work and dedication and learning how to eat right and exercise and blah, blah, blah. So when people see me or any weight loss surgery patient lose weight, they, they're they curious. How did you lose the weight? And I always go, you know, well, I had the gastric sleeve vertical sleeve and a lot of people don't know what the sleeve is they've never heard of it everybody's heard of the gastric bypass but they've never heard of the sleeve uh, surprisingly a lot of people have not heard the sleeve so I get to the chance to explain what the sleeve is so I typically say oh it's a tool that we use my stomach was shrunk and um, so I it's more like a portion control I've learned how to eat healthier it's a new healthy lifestyle so I don't I don't just eat whatever I want even though I can I've learned how to eat healthy on top of that so uh, my typical answer is yeah I'll tell people um, sometimes that I don't go into full details but a lot of times I do go into details uh, people want to listen and they want to hear it and so far my cases with telling people have been great here's the thing I noticed though is they get this big smile on their face like oh my gosh she's gonna tell me her secret like she's maybe I could do this secret and then they do this oh <laughs> and I'm going in my head I'm going oh so they're trying to find out how I lost weight and then in their mind they're thinking oh I can't do the gastric sleeve or I can't have weight loss surgery or or something like that. I see, I read their faces and they're like, oh, 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 okay. You know, and this happens about 99% of the time I'm talking about me getting vertical sleeve. And uh, I always tell every single person that it was the best decision I've ever made besides getting married and having kids. I just, one of the best decisions I've ever made. And I tell them how happy I am. People can see how happy I am. People could see how healthy I am, blah, 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 blah. So they see the outcome of this. They see that things are going really well for this. And 
sometimes I can try to convince somebody that if they feel like they should have the surgery, I'm all for it and I support them, you know, and then I've got those people where they're like, okay, what do you eat then? Maybe I could do your diet. I'm like, okay, let's do this. And I tell them my diet and they totally, no, I don't think, oh, I don't think so. It's so funny how they want to know the secret, but then they don't want to give the dedic. And this was me. I'm not talking about just, uh, I, this was me before surgery. I'm just telling you. And I think every one of us has been this way where we hear about the secret miracle diet or whatever, but we don't put dedication into it. So uh, it's harder than it thinks. So I always tell people, I don't eat bread, pastas, or rice. And they're like, oh, really? I can't give up bread. I can't give up pasta. I can't get, and I'm like, well, listen, I'm living without it and I'm doing perfectly fine. And I, my body doesn't feel so heavy and gross all the time because of all the chemicals that are in bread and rice and stuff. So, um, I tell them that there's a lot of chemicals in bread and that's why it's so addicting and that's why we gain weight and it's just not a good idea to eat bread. Now listen, I eat croutons, I eat toast, I eat some breads, I don't eat it, I eat like one or two bites every now and then, I'm okay with that. But however, I think it's funny when people are like, oh, I don't want to do your diet, oh, I don't want to do the weight loss surgery. And I'm like, it's working, so if my diet's working... I'm sure it'll work for you. I know it doesn't work for everybody. These things don't work for everybody because uh, I've seen people gain weight off the vertical sleeve. You have to be dedicated. You have to work on it. You cannot go back to your old lifestyle. If you're getting the sleeve, I'm going to warn you now. Up here is what you have to work on. It is not about... The amount of food because I can eat McDonald's if I wanted to and not get sick. Sometimes. It depends on what I'm eating. However, I mean, I can eat French fries and not get sick. I can eat certain things and not get sick. But it's up here. You have to mentally be ready to change your whole lifestyle. You have to mentally turn your whole brain around and learn to uh, to eat appropriately. Um, before this video gets too long, uh, we just found out that my son's cancer had progressed. And that day when he was, when we found out the news, I was eating everything unhealthy, unimaginable. And it just totally clicked in. I am a stress eater. I am a huge stress eater. When I'm stressed, I'm shoving food in my mouth. And I realized I was doing that the other day. And I was hard on myself. Why? Because that is what got me to where I was in the first place. So I was hard on myself. I was like, I cannot believe I'm going back to my old ways when I'm stressed. So I literally had to change my whole mindset and find something else to replace that I could not use food as comfort, but use something else as comfort. And to this day, I have not found anything else. I haven't been, I slowed down on the food eating and I've gained a pound or two, um, but I'm losing it off and on. So it's like fluctuating. So it's really not much of a difference. But uh, I've had to learn mentally not to stress eat and use food as my comfort food. I've been listening to music. I've been cleaning. I've been spring cleaning. I've put my concentration in other things. And it's really, really difficult for me to... You have to go through this, excuse me, and not eat. And yeah, I am going to be hard on myself because I worked my ass off to get to where I am at today. And no, it is not an excuse to go back to where I came from. So I'm going to work my butt off to find something else that will replace the comfort level of stress eating. And it's going to be hard, but I know I can do it. I've come so far. That I'm not going to turn around and go back to the way I was before. Not going to do it. Not going to do it. No matter what situation it is. So, anyway, I thought I had to lay that out on the table. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope next week I will have be, I'll be in the 130s. Check out Sleeved Mel 2015 on Facebook. I update uh, pictures and stuff on my 
Facebook sometimes, especially if I go down to like 1.30s or whatever, and, and I'll be able to celebrate on Facebook and Instagram. Oh my gosh, I have not been on my Sleep Mel 2015 Instagram in so long. Maybe I should do an update picture or something. Anyway, uh, I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for all your prayers, your support, and your comments. Um, I'm not going to do a shout out this week, but hopefully I'll get to do a shout out next week. But you guys are awesome. You guys are amazing. And I love you. And thanks for watching. Ciao. Bye.